Two. Now uh, we are from group two. My name Desi Amelia. And my name is Muhammad Aziz Al Farisi from One C. I am Ainun Setia. And my name is Miliana Rahayu. We will explain about one of the most people in who influence and some the methods in the English language teaching by Diana Lesson Freeman. Okay. okay, I want to explain some techniques and principles in language teaching written by Diana Lesson Freeman. The first method is audio lingual method. Audio lingual method is appear in World War II and aims to provide foreign language. Teaching with a target to a military force. The first principle of this method is the teacher introduces the dialogue using the target language so that students can avoid their original language they might, they use every day. The second is uh, students repeat the word for several times so they more know about the pronunciation. The second method is just a video. Your lesson is the learning process and is The principle of this method is the first, the classroom must be bright and colorful, and the teacher explains the arrangement of grammar and the vocabulary. And the third is errors are justified in slowly and smoothly arranged. The last method that I will explain to you is community language learning or CLL. CLL believes in the principle of the whole person. Which means that the teacher does not only pay attention about the feelings and the intelligence of students, but also links with each other. The principle of this method is first, uh, the teacher fostering a good relation with students, and then start by asking students the activity they have done at night. And the last is students are asked to express their feelings. Hello, my name is Desi Amelia. Now. I will explain about one of the most person who influence in the English language teaching by Diana Lassen Freeman. She is woman. She was born 24 February 1000 for 1946 at United Kingdom she's uh, 72 years old first Diana Larson Freeman received her PhD in linguistic from the University of Michigan following appointments at UCLA and the graduate as IT Institute where she, remi- where she remains affiliated as distinguished senior faculty fellow she, re- she returned to the University of Michigan in January 2002 to direct English language Institute for six years. She is currently a research scientist emerita at the English Language Institute, as well as professor of education um, of education emerita and a faculty associate of the Center for the Study of Complex System at Michigan. Larsen Freeman has made presentation in 65 countries around the world and is the author of H books about English language teaching and she was the editor of the journal language learning for five years she focuses her research and interest on attempting to understand the process of second language acquisition language acquisition is also called the second language namely the language of learning such as of English language this she also uh, research researches English 
She also researches English grammar and she regards English grammar not only as a set of structural patterns but also as a as an important important resource resource for making meaning and for adapting language appropriately to the communicative context and also she has many methods of teaching English for students who are easily understood. Next, I want to explain about her activity and over the she retired from the University of Michigan in 2012 and holds a marina position at English Language Institute and in Education and Linguistics at the University of Michigan. Carson Freeman concentrates her research on the process of second language acquisition. Also, we start in this river, which is not only as a set of cultural patterns, but also as an important resource for making meaning and for adapting language to the communicative context. Two words take the title of the book. One of them techniques and principles in language teaching that she wrote in 1986. Ayn also wrote 24 of articles that she delivered in many seminars and some symposium, one of them making the case for second language acquisition to become second language development, language teaching. And she got three awards. First, Jonathan W. Northern Burger for his great Wayne Hammerman for complex system and applied linguistic awarded by the Modern Language Association in 2008. Second, Distinguished Scholarship and Service Award awarded by the American Association of Application Linguistics in 2011. Third, 50 at 50 leader in TESOL selected by TESOL International Association I want to explain some of the ways the method used by Diana Larson Freeman in her book entitled Techniques and Principles of Teaching Foreign Language. After hearing only a few of my group friends, the questions appeared in my brain. The first is, what is the characteristic of the teaching process? And the second is, what is the rule of students in the method? Let's see. The first is grammar translation method. This method is actually not new. It used to be called the classic method because it is used to practice classical Latin Greek language. This method assumes that by grammatically learning with the target language, Students will be more familiar with the grammatical language themselves, and this habit will help them to be better at speaking their own language. And second is direct method, like grammar translation method. Direct method is not is not new method. This method is used by used by to used by teachers to teach more communicative language and the basic rules of this method are not allowed to translate and the third is audio lingual method this method emerged in the second world war and aimed to profit foreign language teaching with the target language to military forces and the method of grammatical translator and direct method is inappropriate because both of this method come from pure descriptive linguistics.